Welcome back to Timberborn. My name is Nilaus and we are continuing on our journey to just make this a better little colony for our beavers and also just to relieve the workload on the beavers. They are currently working a lot. There is a lot of beavers here. Uh, how many beavers? 142. Oof, that's a lot. Uh, but also we have 20 robots. So we have two projects to do for us. That is, we need to get more robots so that we can gradually replace uh, this district with robots entirely mm, we can build a new district up here that's part of the other project uh, i always have two projects because otherwise it just gets a little bit silly if you only have one project and eventually maybe also replace this part with robots so that we only have robots in a single location and that means we can give them a much much better time than 20 we can maybe get even to 40 or some crazy thing like that so that's uh, really what our objective is today, uh, but that's one part. The other part is I want to take this part. So we can get a ton more of water wheels on this by making a path down here. That can be like three of these and then a, a, a dam, I guess, and then three and then a dam and three again or something like that. Um, yeah, that's kind of how I want this to be done. And uh, maybe I don't want a dam, actually. I'm just uh, thinking maybe I do want a dam, maybe I don't want a dam. Uh, because if I'm looking at this part, uh, this is the height. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I want to just get to this height all the way and then take this out here. Yeah, okay. So what I need to do is I need to make this part up here into a district and then uh, work, <laughs> work on that. And if I increase the water flow here, then it'll flow out here. So one of the big things that I absolutely need to do is go over here and then start working on the dirt excavator, the terraforming station, and the block. So those are now done. We have quite a bit of resources here. So I'm going to need to build you... Ugh. I can build you here. Or I could, like, build... No, that's going to be underwater. That's not great. This is probably an okay place yeah maybe this is probably better yes so we built it here these are pretty extreme because they need a lot of gears <laughs> and they need a lot of treated planks and they need a little bit of metal so those are important things to get up to here they also need to get power because this one has uh, 200 power and that means i need to build a district up here so we need to work on finding a way to make a district. And I think that I need to just cut this out so I can make a district building. You know, the district buildings are district crossings. I want to make it right there so that all of what we have is coming in here. Uh, that means... Yeah, that means we need to blow one of these up. And let's try, let's try doing that. So... We need to build a little bit more here to uh, to just get it. I'm trying to work away, work my way through removing all of these trees. If we look at it, uh, these are all f uh, flagged for deconstruction. This one doesn't have anything in range. Uh, that's kind of sad. So we'll get up. Oops. Interesting how it doesn't have anything in range. What about that one, though? Is that because it's not tagged for... Yeah, it's... There we go. And this one here. Okay, so that will just be kind of what we want to uh, to build here. And uh, we need to just make a little space. But the first thing we want to do is make a district crossing here so we can get some robots into this location. So we are just making a little bit of progress. We're now up to three idle bots. It's not a lot, but it's enough for me to unlock this part there. And over on the next one, switch over to bots switch over to bots so now we don't have any idle bots in this area we have up to 25 robots and we now have uh, do we have any uh we have lots of vacant jobs hmm but the issue is also that we have 11 uh, incapacitated and we have now because of the reallocation we now actually have someone who can work as a healer and uh, then we don't have 11 11 broken ones that's kind of uh, a lot this one also definitely needs to be built because we are running out of uh, of here. So I will build an efficient mine. That's another 4,000. It's expensive, but uh, needs to be done. And logs, gears, and treated planks. Oh, and we also have a drought started. Uh, let's see. The drought means a few things. That means we will absolutely turn these off. These are number crunches. They cost, they 
take a lot of the resources. I will also absolutely take these ones on. And then let's have a look at how much power we have. We definitely do not have enough power. So there will be other things that we need to unload or just, uh, deconstruct in the meantime. Oh my god, that was just not what I wanted. I wanted to blow it up. I did not want to... Uh, there. Uh, you can get removed. And you can also get removed. And there. So... Uh, let's see, what else do we want to dismantle at this point so that we can get a much more reasonable amount of, uh, of, of consumption here? Don't really think I can find a lot of things. Okay, that's not that bad. I can turn these off, but I do need a lot of treated planks now. Uh, this one needs a little bit of treated planks. Yeah, 300 treated planks. Uh, let's keep that a little bit lower uh, because we also need treated planks up here, which is uh, kind of kind of a thing detonate and this one detonate as well uh, what's the point of this i'll also detonate one up here it's simply to get this on a lower level so that first of all i can and you're gonna be taken out good then we can take these two out and then we can use this side over here for another water wheel there and then i actually want to make sure that the water wheel over on this side is uh, this is where I'm going to bring the power line on the back side I think that's better to have it on the back side than having it on the front these are going to be in here as well for some reason this just doesn't get built oh I know that that's probably there we go that's probably the reason uh, we're also working here I'm going to make a little bit of space for just random storage here uh, get my district building at this location and then work our way over to that location uh, we are just slowly consuming a little bit of the here, but I think that during the nighttime we're actually going to be okay. Or maybe that was during the nighttime. Ooh, that was during the nighttime. Okay, so let's build another one. Uh, just some more power as well. And the most important thing I forgot to mention at the very beginning. If you are enjoying these Timberborn episodes, then be sure to hit the like button. It is uh, something that takes a monstrous amount of time to, to uh, create these episodes. And the interest is kind of not really justifying it, uh, to be perfectly honest. But I enjoy it, and there are a number of people who are enjoying it as well. So I want to keep going with the, with the Timberborn. Uh, so... So that's how it is, as long as there is an interest, a genuine interest for us to continue. So the drought ended. So this, uh, I've been burning through this, uh, the, the stockpile here or the batteries, because I wanted to get the number crunches to keep working, because uh, we are actually on a position. If we go over here, in this district, we have six beavers. No, five extra beavers that are not working are beaver bots. Then they could be put two in here and two in here. But I can't do that until I've spent 1,000 to unlock. So we're going to be crunching this. Uh, this also means that we are now in a position where we can actually start sending out robots to other locations. If we build this one, that is. Uh, because then we can get, mm, let's see, if we build here. And then that will be a district building. And then I need to build some storage. This is a large industrial storage for... Logs, yes. Let's start building some things over here. And what else do we need? Let's see. This will be... We'll need planks, for sure. Do we need metal? Uh, I don't know. This one is kind of getting all the metal soon enough. So I think this will be done by... Uh, when that's done. Um, then I need... Let's see. I need some other storage. Well, maybe I do actually need more start. Uh, treated planks and metal... We probably need those as well. So let's uh, let's build those here. Tree planks and metal. So it's nice to build here. And then I need some storage. Uh, this is where I'm going to build the district building, I think. So where do I want to build the... Let's see. Well, actually, now that I look at it, this might not be the worst thing. You can go up here and... Ah, see, the problem... The problem, problem. I don't know. But I want to get... Let's see if I can get it. My idea is this will go here and then it'll go up on the roof and then it'll go through this area and then it can go over here. Uh, that will be then be like this and then on a on here. Maybe even I could make it 
back here, but that's kind of bad. Ah, uh, this one would be so good if I could actually build it here, but that's actually it's a little bit of a shame. Uh, I'd like to build it up here, but I don't think I can get back on top. See, what I'm thinking is this would be cool to have those uh, here. Uh, I can also build that one. Uh, this location. Ah, maybe we'll just... Do I need something here? I don't really know. There's no, reason, no way that I can build it here. I'm just trying to figure out where I can build stuff without sort of being too much in the way. This is also not particularly relevant. Maybe like this and this because I need a 3 by 3 4 Let's see where it is. This building, the terraforming station. I want that here. And these will now be... Oh, they can actually be changed to dirt, these two. That's actually cool. I like that. There, then I'll be connected, and I will also be doing. Um, I'll be doing this one for connection. Yeah, so this, um, <clears throat> as you can see, quite a lot of work needs to be done here to get this district operational. You can build this. This is now connected, and oh wow, this one got built quickly. Sweet. Now I can remove these two in a reasonable manner once that's done i can also start building on this side as well and i will be building let's see water wheels that's going to be the big thing water wheel here water wheel here and they will now also be built on the other side but that's kind of just has to wait a little bit there yes we'll just wait a little bit with this cool and waiting for this to the science to go up to 10,000 so that we can uh, get the rest of it out but we are now as we can see here getting uh, quite a lot of uh, progress i think that it's most important to get my storage because once i have the storage i can actually get the rest of it in so if i can get the storage oops and storage is not going to work unless i also have this part and i am suspicious that there might be something yep exactly these ones yes good so let's get this one built and once it's built we can get the new district set up and here we are we have now built uh, the storage which is the most important thing to build here and and now i just realized something else that's also really important and i am going to take this one out here and instead build that and then we're going to be building some charging because if you don't have charging here, it's going to be a bad time. So I need this to be built as well. Once we have these two built, there we go. All this built, then I have at least two charging points. Uh, once I have two charging points, then it is time for us to... There, we just cut it off. We are going to build a district crossing here. I'll be prioritizing as high as possible. I will be building a new district center. There. Sweet. This is going to be called... Um, damn. That's what it is. And this is built, the excavator. Uh, yeah. Not really worth building it right now because it can't. it's not even powered. And what I also think we can do is we can also use this as an opportunity to build charging locations here. So we're actually just leveraging the two locations here that we already have that charge in. And then I want to make sure that we have the right things built here. And I think this is more important. Let me just make sure that gets done. And over here. Bottom one. That, that. There. So that's now done or is getting done and I will do the lower one here. I'll set that to empty and then I'll change it to dirt. So that's a lot of logs. That's pretty good that we have a lot of logs because we're going to be building a lot of stuff. Like all of this over here is uh, also being prepared, but not getting done just yet. We have our district build. That's absolutely amazing. And uh, I think that now we need to set up here. The damp location will be having a host of, let's say, 10 robots to begin with. None of the other ones. 
and they will now be pulled out of Metalopolis because Metalopolis is not set up to a minimum. Uh, it actually should be set up to a minimum. I think it should be set up to a minimum of 30. Maybe that's 28. Just, just like that. And this will also just be set to zero so that we can start shoveling uh, robots out of this location. Oh, this is not uh, located on a track. There we go. So we now have robots in here. There we go. They'll be switched over here. So now we have two builder robots. This one, oof. Uh, let's just get a little bit less of this because we, oh, uh, we also want a haulage post, I think. There. Also switch it over and definitely not have so many. Right, so we now have this built. Uh, we don't have as many as we'd like, but we do have a little bit. Uh, this is now going to switch over to a robot because now the only thing that gets done up here is the stuff that gets done by robots. Yay, we have established a new location with robots. Uh, you are fine. You are trying to empty, but uh, that's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, but there's plenty of things that you can empty here. We need to set up uh, the managed distribution. Oh, no. Ah, this is horrible. So I need to do not import anything. Do not export anything. There we go. That's the first thing. This All of this crap just got thrown in immediately. This is why I I don't like the default one. But it will, uh, we'll just set it up. So no import, no export. What are we going to import? Well, we are going to be importing here, here, here. Um, gears, yes. And planks, yes. Wood, eh, yes, definitely we are going to be importing that. And that's it. Not exporting anything, not exporting... I mean, sure, we can export all of the, the crap we have here because I don't want it. There we go. Export it. And the rest, just get it in. Perfect. And this one will also be switched to robots. And I'll just switch down to two, 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 two I guess, here. All right. And this in, the, in this location, I have uh, four unemployed beavers. Okay, beaver bots. Uh, we're going to be making more of them as builders. That's the most important one. And here. And probably, maybe, I don't know. This one is... Yeah, there's someone assigned, but they're not working because we haven't done all of this line yet. So, it'll need to be a little bit more here. And you, four inbound. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be thrown in here. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? We're now getting pretty much all of what we want here. For, for this part. Sweet. We now have 10,000 signs. That's excellent. And now it is time for us to enable robots to build this. So now we have a total of... Uh, actually, we don't have anything that needs uh, robots anymore. Or that don't need robots. These two can go out. Because why do I need that? This one can go out. Because why do I need that? Now I have two people working. Where are they working at? Uh, let's see. They are working at... Oh, bot assembler. I switched it. Yes. And now we have zero workers and 15. It is time for us to migrate population. There we go. We no longer have any robots in this area. And then the question is, in this area, we need 34 to do everything, I think. This one is also kind of wearing out very closely. There's still three of these left. Um, and once this can get built, hmm, eventually then we'll need to unlock it so that robots can build here, but then it can be up to five additional. We'll go, go with the efficient scrap metal. Right, so that means all of this, we now have no robots over here. That means we don't have any need for anything uh, uh, related to this. I will do, I'll build that here. That will be improving our workers and over here as well i think that would be a great place to build one as well don't really know where maybe that location is kind of the best yeah it's kind of overlapping a lot of stuff or here maybe well you know what i have an idea i just built two of them the only cost of this i mean aside from all the planks gears and metal blocks is the fact that they use three signs per day minus hour whatever and that's it adds up, but we with number crunches, that means one number cruncher can support three of these. That means I just sort of taken out, take out one number cruncher. That's the only thing we're going to be using signs for, sort of moving on. And um, now I'm going to be exploding this part. 
and just gradually working on this. Now, this is not generating any power because it would need to be connected over to, you can see down here below, I have, um, well, you can't see it, but down below we have the gears. There we go. The is cranks, shafts, whatever. Uh, and they'll go down here and then I'll be walking on top. That should be like the best way of doing it. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I think we're making good progress now. So now the drought starts. It's been uh, it's been tr trudging along here, and uh, it is time for us to take some of these things out that take a lot of power. These three are taking a lot of power, and we don't really have a, a an absurd need for this. Uh, we are having all of this, and we're now kind of doing okay. Let's take stock of the situation up here. Uh, what we're working on is, well, let's blow that one up. Let's blow this one up and just gradually try to uh, build this one a little bit better. Now, what I want to build over here is <clears throat> we need this one built. Oh, lucky. Awesome. That is perfect. This is exactly what I needed right now. Great. And especially because it's, uh, it's like this. Uh, so... How do I do this? I think I want to build it all from like this location onwards there. And once this one is established, then I can take this bridge out and continue to work on something else. And all of this is basically has to be built as a single thing here. Good. Uh, this is working. This is work. No, it's not really. But this is the big one here. The dirt excavator is well, chucking along as it should be. Blow these ones up. And then get the last ones done. And now this is also established. So I can take this line out here. Definitely not this corner. This corner is kind of important. And then I will be taking out here. So that will just kind of get the whole thing one up. A little bit more up here. There we go. And I will be getting, basically, basically I'll have it flow out here. I will accept that it flows into this location, I think. Yes, I'll have to. Uh, so all of this has to just be filled up a little bit. And, oh, we, <laughs> that happens all the time. They get stuck in there. And, okay, but how do I build this from the right way, from the right side? Whoops. Like these arrows means that this is the side that they want to build it from so that this doesn't happen. But it did anyway. But once um, once we just build all this, they will pop up. So that's a, that's a, a good start. We built... Um, that's actually pretty cool. What I also want to build is over here by some... Build that. There you go. So I can control the water flow through this. That will be set to zero almost always. But um, at least can control it and turn it off again. Then we will be having, once this is done, once this is done, yep, like this, then we'll be building it a little bit higher so we can start making the next water wheels. They'll be moved up a little bit as well. Um, this line here is actually really inaccessible. So can also just, just make some changes to make it easier for us to work in the future here. And then just take the rest of this one out. Because this will be, and this will be just levees all the way from here, yeah. Because that's where they actually want to build it. I am just kind of thinking, is this the right height? I don't think it is. I think this one actually has to go a little bit up. Otherwise, uh, water might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it doesn't matter if if I build this as a line up, then it's. Whatever. I, I'm just I'm just kind of thinking if there's... This is fine. Because what I need to do then is make... One, two, and three. Those will be coming along. It's going to be taking a little bit of time. But that's the idea of it. And then I can continue to this direction as well. The drought has ended. And we have... Uh, we're starting to see the green flow in here. We are working on... Just making this level, this takes a little bit of time, and then make a canal up here. 
that will just have a stupid amount of uh, of uh, water wheels going all the way down here and around this corner. Actually, this corner can actually be better. I'm pretty sure this corner could be improved by getting by blowing it up a little bit. Like maybe just cut this corner out so it has better flow. I think that would be uh, a good idea. Also, um, it is now at a point where if we look up here, we have 14 on. Uh, unassigned we have five working here could get six but that's about it that means we now have 38 in this location i will be setting my uh, hard limit here to 38 there we go and then that means we can actually start working on this district oh let's get some water in here this district can now start working on getting some uh, beaver bots in here and in order for us to get beaver bots in here we are going to start needing some power so we take oh actually this one has power uh that's i forgot that it's pretty cool that they uh, carry power yeah but they don't carry power if they don't have power so that's let's get this one here this one will also eventually go out and i will then de do some of these uh, one two three i guess that also gets power into this building get a there and eventually we'll also make a one of these here so i think this has to be prioritized because there's kind of other junk that is uh <clears throat> this is also prioritized uh, i'm just trying to blow up this area so i can make a giant forest for this uh, this district i think basically all districts should have their own forest it's just too much stuff to be carrying around between locations even though all our food perish here it's still not really a problem so don't care about it uh we are Interesting how these are not working. Ugh. Why are they not working? They should be handled by the haulers. Where are the ha- Where are the haulers? Where are the haulers though? Huh. Have they been busy? That's the haulers. You have million haulers. Get on with it. Huh. That is strange so they oh right i know i know i know it's because it doesn't have any wood that's also another reason why we want to build more wood so i'm also building down here uh oh you know what i i another little thing here uh this part look at that this has not been flagged for there we go that's gonna help a lot and down here as well now we also have more space for this and actually this is a gathering flag don't care about you so i will now be making more yeah so you're gonna get busy with this and funny how these are just not getting taken out it's really cool really weird though uh yeah so i'd really like to get another one that can harvest this area just that might maybe taking out i don't know one of these but they're they're pretty high percentage ah whatever i'll take one of these out and then just build another one so the first thing is up here well not first thing but uh, an important thing here is hey look at that we got another water wheel and are they connected let me see no not quite but very close to being connected Oh, uh, what I also need to do is uh, we can now start enabling these things now that we are no longer in the drought period. And I can probably start disabling a lot of this. Yes, please. We want to save on our wood. There we go. Is that enough? That is not enough. There. That should be fine. Good. So, and uh, what I need to do is figure out how many I actually need here. So I have four here. I have four here. I have a hauler. That's four. That's a builder four. That's that just seems like good. Uh, two here. That is the number of uh, units I'm gonna get in this area. You're gonna blow up, and these are gonna blow up as well. Just to increase the water flow a little bit here. I uh, wonder how I can build the other ones, but that doesn't matter. Uh, the idea of this is I want to be, I want to figure out what the ideal number here that's 18 so right now i need to set this to 18 the dam project just needs 18 that's it that's all you need because this will just be responsible for building this that means any excess i have here could now be coming in and you're going to be just getting lakeside now it won't get 20 but it'll get it will get 20 how the hell did it get 20 huh 
Metalopolis is 39. Here, there's 8. I have a lot of robots. How many robots do I have? 56. That's no good. This one is not getting... How do you have 20 unemployed robots in here? That makes no sense. Did I just leech them out here? No, you have 38 here. You have 18 here. Cool. Well, you have 20. Okay. Well, I don't get it. What about if I... Oh, right. 56. Okay. So now I need stuff that uh, in this area that needs to, uh, to, to be taken over by robots. So robots will now be working on the mushroom farms. Good. That's three. They will be working on the farms here. There. There we go. They will be working on the harvesting. Sweet. And how many more? I still have 10 more. Sweet. And then they are going to be working on the food production. There we go. I still have six more. Then they're going to be working on as the builders. Then they're going to be working as the gateway keepers. Then they're going to be working at the other district. And I have now 14, whew, 14 beavers not doing anything in this district. Whew, that's amazing. And I still need more. I still need like 16 more. Well, less 16 because we don't need these three for making water anymore. Well, I do need one of them for making water for, for this farms here. Uh, but as you can probably see we're actually getting oh this one is a lot uh yeah well i don't have anything else to do so i might as well assign them here uh, the healer is also completely relevant to have here so it's going to be uh let's see these will actually start getting assignment oh no that's definitely not it uh let's see so you will also now turn down the amount of we don't need more than 10 in this one which means when they die of the old age, I don't even need to send them anywhere. So as you can see, we're making massive progress towards replacing all this. So what else is there now to do? Well, there's a, there's a few more things because uh, we also want to... No, I think I'll save it for next time to sort of increase happiness. That seems like a good thing to, uh, to, to focus on in a separate, in a separate, uh, dish, uh, separate episode. Uh, but we want to get this one done. So this is just, uh, well, more work. So we're now actually in an interesting position uh, for the lakeside district as well. If we look at it here, if we look at it, we have eight employed beavers and they're actually here. One, two, three, four. And then there's one in the healer. That's five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to take you out. That is going to be here. And then I should be in a position where I can do that one. Now I have 30 employed and the last one will then be taken out. This one is also set to here, but that will not be used at all. There we go. So now we have 30. And that means the only thing that we have employed here in this district, the only thing we have employed, they are completely useless. So it is also time for us to migrate population up and say Lakeside, you will have a total of none. And you'll be dealing with 30 uh, of these. So they will now be all of them sent to boom, boom, there to home so that we have 128 in the home district that's kind of a little bit more than i need uh or i have room for and uh, we will but i do want to consolidate this so that's definitely something we want to do in the following episodes uh these ones are just not as uh i mean yeah they're working on it or they're sitting here but they're not really uh, we'll build these and get some more storage or uh housing housing not storage housing uh, for the beavers and let's also buff it up so that they get a little bit faster. We have a lot of a uh, lot of homeless. 36, how much can be in this one? 10 plus 10. So it's not even enough. But I've also turned off a lot of the breeding parts because I don't want them to breed. And each of these should be keeping up like 15 or some something around like 15. Which would make this 90. And that's kind of where I want. So once they uh, expire then they'll be uh, in a better position there. Uh, that's fun. I can't get this out here. Hmm. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll try it. We'll, we'll get this one for sure. So we are coming in here and uh, we have almost completed this long row of, uh, 
of water wheels. There we go. That's the last water wheel. And now these two will just balance out. The one is really slow and the other one is really fast. And then they'll sort of balance out the flow. Uh, that is all the power we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 uh, times 2, 26 water wheels doing about 300, 260, 200, 260, 300, 200, whatever. Thereabouts. That is quite a lot of power we have here. And we can then start disabling. Can we now run entirely? Yes, we can now run entirely on the... Uh, on water wheel power yay that's perfect and down here we also have a massive uh, thing to blow up i'm just gonna blow this up because that's a good thing to that's always nice to see oh i forgot one <laughs> i forgot one never mind right so what are we gonna do from here well i have two big projects now we don't have uh, any more we are we have now purely robots here purely robots here purely robots here and then we only have um, no robots in the home district and only the normal uh, good old beavers, the iron teeth beavers in the home district. So now it's time for us to really make it a nice place for them to live here so that we can, uh, we can, yeah, they can, they can get all they want and uh, they'll be happy as well. We have about 123 plus six uh, younglings and uh, that's going to be for the next episode. Also, this part is good as long as it flows, but as you can see in 1.2 days it'll just stop working all this will stop working so i also need to build like a giant basin out here where we will be filling it up during the um during the storm though the flood period and also f and then fill uh, emptying it during the drought period so we can keep all of this running during the drought and i think that's going to be a giant reservoir over here it's going to be a little bit tricky to build but i'm sure we can get it done with a little bit of tenacity and perseverance so uh, join me for the next episode as we improve the livelihood for the beavers as well as build a um a some kind of, of water reservoir to keep this flowing during the droughts thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed it if you have then hit the like button that uh, means a lot to me and it also is kind of the way that i can uh, uh, i can see that there's still interest in playing this game i think there is but you know it's nice to be uh, get a little bit of confirmation also, of course, if you want to support the channel and the work I do here, then head on over to Patreon. I have a patronage, and that is all the, these beautiful people named here are named after the Patreon Templars. So thank you very much to anyone who is supporting. Uh, that is kind of how this channel works. So thank you very much. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.